All right, my lovely class. I wanted to go over some of the things that we went over in class on Wednesday because I felt like uh, there was some confusion and it was difficult with some of the ones who uh, didn't have Photoshop, others did have Photoshop, some were trying to download it. So I wanted to have something that you could go back in and watch slowly. So I'm going to just show you, um, you'll have to watch my mouse as I talk. So on the, if you have Photoshop, I'm going to do a GIMP one also, but if you have Photoshop on the right side of your screen, you should see something that says layers. So I'm going to pull my mouse over here and you're going to see the layers right here. So layers is what you're going to work off of. So when I talked about what to start with, what not to start with, I said to never work on your background layer. So this right now I have, this is the only layer you can see. So I'm going to show you why that is. So as I work, so this was, this was after just some basic editing. This is um, some more editing, some more, some more, another layer I added in, and then the final layer. So if I decided that I didn't like this and I wanted to try something new, I could easily delete that layer. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the eyeballs on that side under layers where I can see and not see what's going on. So right now I'm deleting, or I'm not deleting, I'm hiding them where you can't see them. Okay, so this was just a little project I was working on to um, show some of the benefits. So we're going to look at this shot. This was just a uh, quick, when you guys were working on your pictures, the first class, uh, we went in the back and this was just one of the things sitting there. So we're going to work on this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Open, and you're going to see a whole bunch of pictures, hopefully. Whatever your pictures are, you're going to find where you saved it and you're going to open it up. Now, if you're going to open directly from your camera card, there would be another thing dropped down under this PC and you would open it up directly from your camera card. If it was saved on your computer, you would go to pictures, click the file. I would click what picture I'm going to work on, open, and it would open up for me. So here's my image already opened. I have my there. I have one layer right now. So on the right side of the screen, you see just one layer and it says it's called background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to drag it down here. There's a little, well, let's try that again. There we go. There's a little icon that looks like a paper with like the edge of the paper flipped up. So what that did, dragging that down there, is just created a secondary copy. So it's the same exact image twice. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and you're going to see this little rectangle box with a circle in it. And it just added, see this white square? That's the layer mask that we talked about. So I don't want to work on the layer mask because if you work on the layer mask, it doesn't do anything. There's no changes because it's a mask. What I want to work on is I want to work on the actual copy. Okay, so here's my copy. And let's see, what do I want to do? So like I told you guys before is I want you guys to really play around with the things that interest you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one thing that's a really fun way to play around. So if you go to filter and you go to camera raw filter, it might take a minute to open up. My computer likes to run real slow when I'm doing videos. All right. That wasn't too bad. All right. You don't need to get, you don't need more. So let's say I want to up. So there's all these different options, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, whites, blacks, texture, clarity, and then up here are a whole bunch of other options too. We'll go through some of those options in class. A lot of those are going to be um, real detailed and specific and not necessarily pertinent to the class. So as you can see, my image is a little bit of a blue tinge. So I'm going to up my temperature a little bit. I'm going to drag that little dial towards the yellow and you can see how it kind of took away that blue tinge. I'm also going to up my contrast a little bit. Just contrast is basically the darks are a little darker, the lights are a little lighter. I also like to 
bring my blacks down so you can see. So the nice thing about this is you can just dial those back and forth and you can see what your picture is going to look like without actually making any full commitment. With pictures like this, I also like to up my texture. So you can see, if you look in the wood grain, you can really see the difference in texture. Now I don't up my texture much when it comes to portraits because any type of imperfection that is in their skin is gonna definitely show up. I'm gonna up my vibrance a little bit. So here's my vibrance down. Here's my vibrance going up. Same thing with saturation, my saturation going down, my saturation going up. So I want a lot of bright, let's say. I want all those paint colors to really pop. All right, so here's my image and there it is now. So the pretty big difference. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hit my eyeball, delete my layer. There's my, my background. So if I decide, oh, I don't like the way that looked, I like the original better. I can take this layer and I can drag it down to that little trash can, okay? So I'm not gonna drag it because I actually like my layer pretty good. But let's say I decide I don't want the background to be bright like that. I only want the paint. I only want this to be the main focus. So that's when the layer mask comes in. So I'm gonna click on my layer mask. I'm gonna click on my brush and here's the brush color. So I have white and black. I'm gonna hit X to change it to black. So black is going to um, delete what I did. It's gonna only, it's gonna take away where I paint is gonna take away the layer mask. So my layer mask is white. So think about it this way. My layer mask is white. My black is gonna take away wherever I paint. It's gonna take away what I did to change that layer in the background layer is now going to show through. So I've got my brush at 100% opacity, which means it's strong all the way up. And I'm going to make sure my layer mask is clicked. And to make your brush bigger or smaller, on your keyboard you have brackets right next to the P. The one on the left makes it smaller, the one on the right makes it bigger. And again, a lot of that's going to just be playing with it. So I'm going to just go in and I'm going to start painting this. So there's not going to be a massive change, but you can see if you look real closely, it's kind of making it a little bit more gray. You can see right there, especially because remember we upped the temperature. And so it took away a lot of that blue tinge. And now I just added it back in. I'm just going to go in and make sure. So now you can see over here on your layer mask where the black is, that's where I painted in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you again. So there it is with that layer hidden. There it is with that layer on. Hidden, on, hidden, on. Okay. So let's say I want, I decide I want this not to be so bright. I kind of want to take this down a little bit because I only want that front color to really pop. I want all this just to kind of blend in the background. Okay, so there. I'm pretty happy with that for now. Okay? All right. So let's say I'm done with that. I'm really happy with it, but there's something else I want to try, but I don't want to lose any of these changes. So now I'm going to hit control on my keyboard. I'm going to highlight both of those so you can see they're both gray and then I'm going to put merge layers so now my layers that all my changes are on one layer so then before I work anymore I'm going to come back down and I'm going to duplicate that layer and it's going to take me two times again I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to go in and change other things so here's another fun little thing to play around with this month if you look right here, the, here's your layer mask. Next to the layer mask is a circle that's like colored in half. Like it's learning about fractions. And there's all these really cool options that you can do. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see what I want to show you. I'm going to show you a solid color. So I just created 
my whole picture is now pink. So you can see right here, here's my solid color, here's my layer mask. Now, you, another thing you can do is you can change how strong your layer is, and that's gonna be up here with opacity. So I'm gonna bring this down. Let's say I just want, this is like for a little girl's room. I'm gonna print this out, and I want a real pretty pink tinge to it. I might just come in and bring that bring that in there like that. Okay. But now I think, well, I feel like now the sharpness is kind of, this doesn't look as sharp to me. So I can go in on my layer mask. I can make sure black is, is what's hit. And then again, I can come in and I can paint that layer mask off. Now remember when you're using the layer mask, you want to make sure that you are clicked onto the mask itself, not here, or else you're just going to paint on top of your layer, okay? So I decided I like the pink, but I want all this to be just its normal color. So I'm going to go in and I'm holding the button down on my mouse to make sure that it's all painted. So there, I like that. I think that looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. So then if I decide, and I, I'm really happy with it, I'm for sure I want to keep it. I can go in and I can merge my layers again. So I right click those layers as they're con hitting control, clicking all of them, right click and I hit merge, okay? So remember, as you're playing, never you never want to see just one layer. You want to always go down and duplicate that layer as you work. So that way, if you decide, oh, I don't like that, you can just go down. Oh, I just, I'm going to throw that one away. And then you still have your background to work off of to duplicate again.